Hey, Speck Astronomer or Dumas Science. It's me, Speck on Southern. Coming to a video in this video, I am turning the Seven Deadly Sin characters from the anime into golems. I know I've already done something similar using the um, sins themselves, but I'm actually using the anime characters and I'm going more off of um, what they can do from the actual anime. But I threw in a few things in there that just to make a more golem like it for this world. You will see what I'm talking about whenever this video starts. Well, now let's just roll on trying to get to, into this video. Let's go. <laughs> Like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Okay, so the first goal I'm going to be looking at is the Demonic Dual Crystal Plus Weapons Golem. It most common name for it is the Demonic Crystal Golem. It doesn't really have any horns, but the way it was created was kind of was created by a de since this race was created by a demon. And it actually houses a demon spirit within it. It's actually um, made sense that it is known as that name. It has three arms, one on one side, two on one side, and one on the other. The one arm is a sword. The other two arms are crystals. The one, the one. The furthest outward is a um, is a dark purple. The one in the inner is a um, very light red. That is a very, and the eye for it is a very dark red color. <clears throat> Other than that, it's a pretty average, your average golem. <clears throat> Stands at around, I want to say um, if I remember correctly, it stands up around. Six, five foot six, and uh, the red crystal. It might be small, but it holds a lot of power. Very similar to the um, the demonic wrath I went over last time. It has the ability known as um, revenge counter. The bigger, darker purple crystal is a um. Basically, a um, very toned down version of that. It's known as full counter. <clears throat> and if you can get a shot of the crystal, the crystals every now and again break, crack apart, like shitting, and the powers actually stay within the crystal. But after a few days, they are mostly absorbed and dispersed. But if you are able to collect one and contain it within a specific area, um, you can actually, you can actually stay like that forever. Or the second option, asking the actual golem for one. I, these golems are usually known to be nice and friendly, but sometimes they are very violent. Um, what I had to do to get my crystal for it, I actually managed to get my hands on the rarer, Revenge counter. I let's just say I had to nearly kill a uh, evil golem, and trust me, that was pretty difficult because of how strong they are. Every attack I was able to dish out on them kept being reversed and attacked on the back of the me ten times the power. And it's a good thing I was using low level spells, or I would have been toast. But I learned, if I use magic that is not going affecting him, like a um, spell that creates a giant rock above him and I crush him with it, it won't go back to me because it was affecting something else. It was, going to, it was supposed to affect something else. So, that worked. <clears throat> but it turns out he was under a spell of a um, someone I'm still trying to get rid of. 
can't really know. I don't really know who he is, but I just know he's nearby whenever something like this happens. He said, as a thanks, he gave me his entire arm. And then he died. Yeah, weird. But he also, the sword on their other arm is so very similar to the end of the tale of the um, demonic wrath. Same weapon, actually. Um, it doesn't really have anything special about it. It's just a very, very sharp, very light sword. But it is also very de deadly. <clears throat> the main thing it can do is, let's just say, you slash one phone with this, they aren't going to stop bleeding for a while. It's a nasty cut, trust me. <clears throat> Literally, I have managed to make a weapon using part of this. Even a part make, sharpens the weapon to a fine tip. So, yeah, you can t see how dangerous this, this creature is if it's at full power. And the weight of it, it's around a ton. So, pretty light compared to a golem. And very small for a golem standards. Let's get to the next one. Now, this next one is a golem that I'm looking at. is known as the Giant Envious Crystal Weapon Golem. Or the Envious Crystal Golem. The reason it gets that name is because it is known to be the <coughs> a descendant of the um, Envy Golem. <coughs> so there's that fact about it. Another fact about it is the fact that it is the tallest Golem I have ever seen. Going in at a height of around 10 feet, where usually these Golems stay around six. Five to six feet tall. Smaller ones being on the four, four foot range. So, yeah, the thing's really tall compared to other golems. And it gets another part of its name, the um, what, crystal weapon. It's because it has a weapon in the form that's actually a crystal. It, is, it has the crystal in the shape of a war hammer. Very interesting if I say so myself. But, <clears throat> since this thing is so tall, it also has the ability to grow in size, and then that's because of the crystal. What it can do is also store up energy for an attack. So, yeah, it's a pretty dangerous golem, if I say so. <sighs> Another fact about them is that the human versions are actually giants with a few crystals on them but nothing really the only main crystals are are on one hand it's like a giant gauntlet but other than that pretty much the same that allows them to spawn a weapon now now hunting one actually it's not possible because they aren't dangerous at all they're mostly used as guard golems or sentinel golems Trust me, the reason why they're known as the Sentinel Golems uh, pretty because back then, in ancient times, <clears throat> nothing know, much was known about Golems, and they were always guarding things. But now that a few things have changed, they have evolved, and now they just wander around and they are, still have the instinct to guard something. So people are hiring or con taking control of the creature. And have them guard their own area or house. I personally don't have any, but I know a friend of mine who actually does. <clears throat> My brother Ying and Yang have actually talked to him. He said that okay, these golems are very powerful, but they aren't dangerous at all unless you piss them off. They are able to be pissed off in the wild, but trust me, it's better not to piss them off in the wild. And I got to agree with that, because in the wild they are a lot more, how do you say, feral, like a bear. <sighs> Just thinking about one gives me shivers. Let's get to the next one. 
Now, the third golem I'm looking at is known as the Stealing Crystal Plus Weapons Golem, or Stealing Golem. It's another hybrid, like the last one, well, technically the first one. It was a hybrid of the Crystal Golem and the Weapons Golem. But, like the name suggests, it's able to steal things, and it has a weapon on one arm. The arm with a weapon is actually a, um, three-pronged nunchuck. It's weird, and trust me, it's known to actually use that and lash around and knock people unconscious or fight another golem, shatter its eye. These creatures are very similar to the greedy wise gone and the fact that they have a near immortal life. So, yeah. That's a very, very weird golem, but also they are able to steal the strength of some people. Using that, because of the crystal they have on their arm. Um, speaking of another facts, they clock in around, around, um, if I remember correctly, and a whopping six feet tall and weigh around, um, very correctly, two tons. Actually, correct that, half a ton. Because these things are actually relatively skinny and light, which is weird for a golem. But they're, just because they might be skinny and light compared to a golem, doesn't mean they aren't very strong. Using their ability called um, Snap, they are able to steal just the strength from others. I'm talking about physical strength, not powers. If they were able to do that, like Karamba, the warlord will be trying to get their hands on these creatures like there's no tomorrow because of how strong they could have been. And using their crystals, you are able to somewhat steal a um, some physical strength from your opponent in a fight, but it's not to the same degree unless it was given to you by one of them. Things that are given to you by golems in this world hold more power than if you steal them. So, yeah, but not many people know that. They think it's just, eh, these, these crystals are getting older, so they're going to lose power. But in reality, these crystals don't lose power, really, ever. So, yeah, always ask if you want for a crystal. You always might have to do a favor for them. But always try to be help, be nice to a golem in order to get the crystal you want from them. I've done that plenty of times and they're always nice to me. I've actually gained some really powerful allies thanks to that. Now, let's get to the next one. But before we do, yes, I was able to get that golem on my side as an ally. Um, he also said he has a human son, well, human hybrid son named, um... Bond. It turns out he's the same, very similar to the um, dragon's son, that Bond too. Um, but Bond, um, Draconic is the dragon one, and Bond Golmak is actually the um, son of the of the last one, the Golma I was just talking about. Now let's get to the next one. Now, the next one we are looking at is a golem that is known as the Sloth Crystal Weapon Golem, or Sloth Crystal Golem. The reason why they're known as that is because they are related to the Sloth Golem I talked about a few months ago. Well, closer to a few weeks, but maybe a few months ago. And anyways, these golems are able to... Um, actually make people tired by looking at them. But they also have another ability. The weapon part of their name is because they have weird protrusions from their um, arms. Very similar to the pride golem. But weirder. Because um, these crystals are two types. They're both actually the same crystal. It's just different parts of the crystal. These crystals are known as um, chastity fold spear crystals. 
like the name suggests, this is a spear chasta fold. Using it in the tip of a spear, it'll transform it into a spear knot, the chasta fold spear. But since only these golems have it, they don't really give it out so much. Because, so since to that, these weapons are quite rare. I actually have one in my possession, though. Because I've been going on missions so many times. I've encountered so many golems and dragons and other creatures. I've managed to meet one of these. And thanks to me going on a hunt with him, we were hunting a, um, a dragon version of them. There's golem dragon elements of hybrids out there that are powerful. So he, and there was one in his territory that he needed to get rid of because it was threatening his family. Basically his, um, although golems do sexually, do asexually reproduce, they do have partners. So they just have someone to talk to. But, um, yeah. Um, that happened. And thanks to some of my spells, I was able to eviscerate that golem, that golem dragon thing into a thousand pieces by one fire explosion spell. So, yeah. As a thanks, he asked me what I wanted. I said nothing much, I just wanted a crystal. And he broke off his entire freaking arm. He said, you blowing that thing up was near impossible for anyone else. It's a good thing I met you. Turns out, that golem, dragon elemental thing, was one of the strongest of its kind. And I blew it to slumberings like there was nothing. So, yeah, it goes for sure I'm pretty powerful. Uh, this is annoying to be honest. But, um, other than that, I don't really got anything on these goals. Except for their, um, height, which clocks in at around, um, actually, four feet. About the same size as the, um, midget golem. Actually, I think they think clocked around four feet. Three feet. But the reason why they're so small is because, well, they are just that, like that. Their answers are actually relatively tall. But sometimes they were able to grow around five feet tall, so yeah, they're pretty small sometimes. And their weight clocks in around um, a two quarter, no, wait, three quarters of a thousand pounds. So one thousand five hundred pounds. So yeah, pretty heavy, but pretty light by golem standards. Now let's get to the next one. Now this next dragon golem. Sorry, Golem I'm looking at is a member of the weapons family, but it's actually a um, ar but it's also an elf branch known as the Armored Golems. The armored Golems are pretty rare. They're really just weapon golems that have an affinity for armor. And sometimes when these golems are created, they are just used by random armor found around. They're actually, I know some golems that have some armor pieces on them, and those things are still classified as golems, as weapon golems. But this thing is also a crystal golem, so yeah, it's a hybrid again. There's a lot of hybrids out there, but these are very rare ones. This one is known as the Armored Crystal Lust Sing Golem, or Armored Crystal Golem. The crystals on its fingers are like are very similar to the um correctly the Lust Golem and the um the one of the last golems I went over. The um mustard gas golem on the fact that it can emit a um a gas that can make anyone or anything that inhales it pass out. So yeah, weird. The thing clocks it in around um Actually, around six foot five, so taller than average. Um, and the things are well, the human offspring of actually when they're a girl, they're they do look like girls, but even the boys look like girls. 
I met one of them, met one of the human hybrids known as Gother, um, Gother Gomatic. He was kind of pit ticked when he kept saying, when he said, I hate when people call me a girl, even though I'm a dude. I find it kind of funny, to be honest. Now, the reason why that happens because people think that, um, some of these people are cursed to look like that because the golem was supposed was made as it was going to be made as a substitute for a um, demon um, lover, but it decided that it didn't like it and couldn't fall in love, so it turned into a golem. But and some tests showed that there is actually some human-like DNA in there, and due to the fact when humans are somehow able to have kids with it. It's a spell that's mixing magic powers and human DNA with a golem. It's quite difficult magic. I might go more in depth with it in another time. But when that happens, that's how they um, get. A, that's how you get a human golem hybrid. And the females. It's always a male and female golem. Well, it's always a golem and a female. But on rare occasions. It's actually a dude, but they're actually able to use some type of magic to speed it up. I'm not going to go more in depth because it's a little weird. I'm not looking for that kind of magic. I'm more into creation, destruction, weapons, any type of offensive, defensive magic. Anything like that, I will look into myself. But other than that... I don't really have any information on these golems. They're quite mysterious because of how hard they are to find. They are mostly known to be found in mountainous areas. But even those are really hard to find because it's very hard to find what they call the perfect area. Now let's get to the next one. Now the next one we're going to be looking at is a, is a golem created by the wizard Merlin. So, yeah, and used to their magic crystal ball or whatever and actually put it in the thing's eye socket. But due to some golems being mixed with it, it was able to reproduce. But there is one true golem out there that's very hard to find. And I've actually made an ally with it. But I'm talking about it's um, the true children and offspring of, these golem, of this golem. They are able to either use energy ball like magic attacks that have a weird pattern in them or able to grab magic, magical energy from the area around them and use that. But the name is known as Magical Crystal Eyed Golem or Crystal Eyed Golem. Yeah, it's quite a weird name, but it makes sense for it. The thing is actually relatively tall but short at the same time. The thing clocks in a height around five foot six, so yeah, kind of an in between, taller than some golems and shorter than some. It's more of a mid-range golem. The thing also is relatively light, weighing in at only around um, a quarter of a ton, so five hundred pounds. So yeah, light by golem standards. Um, by using magic from its eye, it's actually a lot more powerful. Like, I'm talking ten, like two times to all the way up to a hundred times more powerful, depending on the age of the golem. It's like, golems age like fine wine. The older it is, the more, the better the taste, or in this case, the more power, the older a golem gets, the more powerful it gets. So, Yeah. That's really all I got on these golems is because they're so rare. Let's get to the next one. Now, the next one I'm going to be looking at is a golem. No, and it's also the last one. No, it's the Fire Crystal Plus Weapon Golem. It's a, another hybrid, and it's also the last hybrid we're going to be looking at. Um, for today anyways. Also known as the Fiery Golem is the most common name. One arm is shorter than the other. One arm is very big and 
it has a crystal at it that has a very is able to very, do very 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 high magic spells, book type of pyrokinetic spells, mostly cruel sun, which is the one of the most powerful high magic spells. I'm able to cast it, but it takes a it takes a little bit out of me. Like I could be at full energy one minute, next thing you know, I'm a little drowsy for like five seconds, but then I'm back up. So yeah, and I saved that for um just for emergencies. Because if I cast it in a very big one, I will pass out. So yeah. That. Um but they're mostly known to you smaller versions of that. But and the magic crystal is actually powered by the sun. These things get weaker at night, but they're still a force to be reckoned with. Because they are a master with their other wep other arm. A weapon. It's also an axe. Very similar to the um, last dragon I went over last time. The fiery axe tailed. Um, it's able to swing its axe around at very high speeds. But also... Even though it's going to be weak during the night, it is able to chop a tr a hundred year old tree that is a, has a um, diameter of around two feet in every direction. It's able to chop right through that. So hard, at least scorch marks behind. I kind of logged that after um, talking with one, so there's that. Trust me, these golems are very powerful. Um, they are able to grow stronger at high noon, just like the um, the fiery axe tail dragon. So, yeah, they share a lot of similarities with each other. Another fact from them is the fact that they clock in around um, real correctly. They are kind of tallish the clock in around six feet tall so yeah a little bit shorter than some but they weigh around um when their magic is mostly condensed they ran around five tons but they usually ran around one ton so yeah they can get pretty heavy and that's all the goals i have for today Also, again, no mid video interruption because of how long this video was. Well, that's all the time I got for today's video. Until next time, subscribe to Adrian Spike Army or Demon Alliance. Goodbye and peace out.